Hey guys, and welcome to the math overview video. So let's go ahead and start up with timing, and then we'll move on to the general types of um, math that are going to be covered, and a little bit of the strategy. So you're going to have 60 minutes to do 60 questions, which means you have approximately one minute per question. Obviously, some of the easier questions will take you less time, and you want to save a little extra time for some of the harder questions that you're going to encounter as well. Next up, let's go ahead and cover what kind of math is tested. Okay, so you have pre-algebra, which is 14 questions, which means it's really important. Elementary algebra with 10 questions. Intermediate with 9. Coordinate geometry with 9 questions. Plain geometry with 14 questions. And finally, a little bit of trig, only 4 questions for that. So as you can see from this list and the percentages that I just wrote down by the side of them, Algebra is really, really, really important on this test, and geometry comes in a close second, with trig as a far distant third. Um, so the good news is, if you happen to be really good at, let's say, pre-algebra and plain geometry, you're in a really, really good shape, because you've already got 46% of the questions that you're going to be really comfortable with. So you want to make sure that you're focusing a little bit more on the sorts of things that you're going to see more often. So for instance, if your intermediate algebra and your coordinate geometry are good, that's really nice and that's great, but you want to make sure that you brush up on your plane geometry and your pre-algebra since those are the types of questions that you're going to see more often on the ACT. Now just like any other section, the math section is going to give you a composite score, which is the same as a scaled score, uh, so you're going to get something from a 1 all the way up until a 36 but you also are going to have subsection scores where they break it down into little pieces. There's going to be a pre-algebra, elementary algebra section, subscore, an intermediate and coordinate geometry, and also a plane geometry and trig section, subscore. So the videos that are going to follow this initial video are all going to be going in pretty much that order. So we're starting with things that would be considered pre-algebra, in, and maybe elementary algebra, then moving into the more intermediate stuff, and going on to coordinate geometry. Then we're going to finally end up with plane geometry and trig, and a couple things that kind of encompass all three of those ideas. All right, last thing to cover here is strategy. So on the math section, you know that you have about a minute per question. So if you can be moving at a minute per question, you're in good shape. If you can go a little bit faster, so you have time to go back and go over questions, that's always a nice thing as well. So when you're going through, you're going to want to go through three times. Your first time, you're going to go ahead and do anything that's easy or that you know you can do quickly. The second time, you go through and do anything that's, that's medium difficulty, medium amount of speed that you're going to end up needing. The third time, and last time, you're going to go through and do anything that is really difficult or you can do very, very slowly. That way, you make sure that you maximize the amount of points that you can get. So, for sure, you went through at least two times, you got everything that's easy, everything that's medium, and then if you don't have time for maybe the last one or two problems that you really are just struggling on, then it's not that big of a deal. Versus if you went through trying to do every single problem in a row and got stuck on problem 15 for five minutes, that's an extra four minutes that you spent on that problem that you could have spent on four separate problems and got those right. So you want to make sure that you go through and do everything easy and then deal with everything else. So at this point, you guys can go ahead and look at the videos. You can do them in whatever order you'd like. Um, just make sure that if there's anything that you're really having trouble on, you go ahead and watch the video that's going to correspond to that, because you want to get better at anything that you're having a little bit of trouble on. And it's not a bad idea to watch the other videos, because you want to brush up on skills that you already have as well. All right, thanks, guys.